All right, what's up Dragon Brood? Today we have a very interesting taste experiment because there's a new Pop-Tart out that's supposed to taste like Eggo waffles. And we actually like both of those things as breakfast items or honestly just for snack items whenever. So it'll be interesting to see how these come together. But let's talk about it just how they look right out of the box because there was an interesting thing. I eat a reasonable amount of Pop-Tarts and one of the first things I noticed is that the packaging was actually a bit thicker on these in their foil wrapping. I don't know if that's a thing, maybe it's changed, we'll see on future Pop-Tarts, just something I thought was worth noting. When we take them out of the package, they actually were a little bit stickier, if you wanna call it that, stuck together a little bit. There's a, a yellowish crisscross pattern on them, which I guess is some Eggo flavoring, which makes me a little uneasy. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, again, something else to note. Also, we're gonna do a warm one and a cold one because I know people have Pop-Tarts both ways and I have syrup that we can try with it. So, you know, it's a waffle, so why not? Or supposed to mimic a waffle. Anyway, let's dive in here. So we've got the first one and as you can see here, it has that uh, uh, the crisscrossy pattern. I don't want my light to block that so you can kind of see what's actually going on there and what you're gonna get. But uh, yeah, let's see how it tastes warm first because I'm a little concerned about this. I don't even know what you would call that. The frosting. This is a little, hmm. It's not bad. But it's just odd. It's like... It's like I'm eating a... It's like I, if I took a a piece of an Eggo waffle and set it on top of a Pop-Tart and then just took a bite. It's not like, like, you know, when you eat a blended Pop-Tart that's got strawberry or cherry or whatever, it tastes like one big flavor. This tastes like two separate flavors that happen to be together. Again, it's not awful because I like both those things, but I don't know. I just, I, I guess I expected it to taste more like a cinnamon roll how everything's like you see all the parts but the icing the bread the cinnamon whatever all kind of blends into one flavor this just doesn't do that i mean i like it though i mean i would still eat it but yeah not what i was expecting at all I had to clear that out so i can Eat the regular one now or the cold one the unheated one however you want to describe that and we'll see but uh yeah let's give this a go interesting most of the time pop tarts don't taste completely different to me heated or cold but in this case, I would actually say that the cold one has almost more pronounced flavor. Like, the warm one is closer to having the blended flavor. They feel even more separated on the cold one. But I would say the cold one tastes more of the Eggo waffle, I guess, icing or whatever it is. But it tastes more like the waffle cold. Whereas the other, I could at least taste two separate flavors uh, when it was warm. So that was a little bit weird. Uh, not something I expected at all. I thought it was going to be maybe the opposite there. But let me try the what's left of the warm one with a little bit of syrup on it. I'm trying not to make a mess here on my desk. But yeah, let's do this and, and see. Because you got to have syrup on your waffles or else it's just, it's just not a real waffle. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. that's dumb good and I don't even know if it's maybe because I need to be putting syrup on all my pop tarts but that was really I'm not even joking like this shouldn't be good not I mean not this good I'm, I'm serious. I'm not even joking. I've never considered doing this. 
I might put syrup on every Pop Tart now. I might generally toast my Pop Tarts and then put syrup on. This was really. That made it taste more like a waffle. That's. Man. Okay. <clears throat> Final assessment. Overall, hot or cold, on a 10 point scale, I give them like a six and a half or a seven. You have to like Pop Tarts to enjoy them. But I will say. Heat it up, you get kind of more pronounced flavors of both items if you like them. With syrup, like an eight and a half. Like way better with syrup on them. So there you go. If you get some Eggo Pop-Tarts, try them out with syrup in the morning. You might surprise yourself. But if you want to watch me in another taste test video, I just went out and had a double down from KFC. And that was, well, you can watch the video.